Can you imagine living in a tree for seven days? What about 738 days? Julia Butterfly is a famous activist, a citizen of Earth just like the rest of us. And she saw value in our forest, not with a dollar sign, but with the heart. At age 23 in 1997, she climbed a 1,000 year old redwood tree named Luna in Northern California and lived in Luna for over two years, 738 days. 200 feet above the earth. She did this to oppose the clear cutting and bring the importance of our force into the awareness of the people of planet earth because we need our trees. For those who don't know the ecological importance of forests, forests regulate temperature. They provide us clean air and filter our water, sequester carbon. They slow rain water which can prevent flooding and erosion and much, much more. Luna, the tree that Julia protected is alive today because Julia was able to negotiate with Pacific Lumber Company an agreement to protect Luna with a two acre buffer zone. You have to have phenomenal patience and courage to be able to do something this brave. You really have to believe in what you're doing. Julia told a group of reporters after descending the tree in December 1999, there's something more than profit and that's life. Please read more about Julia's story and other tree sitters and eco-activists in honor of our earth. Julia, of course, is not the only protector of nature. In fact, there have been and still are many strong hearts protecting our planet. The term tree hugger came from the Chipko movement in India, started in the 1930s, which was inspired by a group of Bishnoi women who stood between loggers and a village tree to protect it from being cut down. However, the heartless foresters killed the women and cut down the tree. People are so surprised when they hear stories about people making an effort to protect the land they live on. Americans are notoriously known throughout the world to be uneducated and disconnected, not understanding the importance of nature and how much we humans depend on nature. Our society has been on a down spiraling descent due to our selfish and ignorant choices. Many nonviolent ego activists have gone to jail for putting their life on the line to protect the future of our world, threatened, attacked, and murdered for standing up for life. It's easy to tell who the oppressors are. We live in a world filled with selfish humans that prefer profits over sustainability, over the future of our world, and over life itself. But we don't have to be tree sitters or put ourselves in front of a bulldozer to make a tremendous and positive impact on our world. We can be a conscious consumer, rejecting plastic and bringing our own bags to the grocery store, planting native pollinator flowers. It only takes a little effort from everyone to make a big difference. You don't have to do everything, but please do something. Adopt a new habit this year. Eat more fruit and less processed garbage foods that come from plastic packaging. Stop buying bottled water and get yourself a reusable bottle or save up for a filter system for you and your family's health and the health of the planet. Pick something, anything, just one thing and make it your new normal and teach the next generation to be more eco-conscious than you are. Because it's not too much to ask for everyone to make a little bit of effort. If you vibe with this message, put in the comments a new habit that you're going to adopt this year that you didn't have before to inspire others to make a change for the better, for the planet and all life therein. For my Earth Day 2023 contribution, I have been helping my mom go raw vegan, showing her how she can be more eco-friendly and be a conscious consumer. I'm also transitioning to a raw vegan lifestyle myself and I have cut out so much processed foods. It all makes a difference. Pick something that you can do. Don't pick too many things at once. Just focus on one thing and make it stick. May this Earth Day be the day that we change the future of our world for the better. Please be the difference with me. Live long and prosper.